So it's been eight or nine months since I've been any type. I've had any type of YouTube content, any videos, anything like that. Uh, so it's been a while. There's been a lot going on. Um, so today I just kind of wanted to get into where I've been, what I've been doing, what I'm planning to do, what the kind of future of the channel is, and everything like that. Um, for anyone who's interested. So to kind of get into it. Uh, so for those of you who are unaware, um, uh, I am a my full time job. I am a teacher. I am a coach. I coach junior high and high school football, basketball, and track. And then I teach junior high and high school English. So during the school year in particular, I just don't have a lot of time. One of my goals when I was working on this channel and really making this channel was if I couldn't make quality, consistent content that I was happy with, I just wasn't going to make content. That's really what it came down to. Uh, if you'll notice, my last real upload was around September which coincidentally, that's when football season starts. Uh, and so I just didn't have time. So I just, I, it didn't feel right to me to just make a video or make anything just to make it, just to get it out there. And so I just stopped. Uh, and then the other issue was um, I couldn't play. Like as far as the locals, we don't really, we didn't really have one at the time. Even if you look now, we just don't have one in general. Uh, just not people to play and all that kind of stuff. Uh, where I'm located at, it would take me six to seven hours to get to any of the big tournaments. Um, that's why I was never really there. And then just when they would bring those tournaments to my area here in Texas, it was on like Fridays. And as a coach, I can't take a Friday off to go travel six or seven hours. So I can plan a tournament on Saturday, maybe on Sunday, then drive all the way back be ready for class on Monday that just logistically it just doesn't work out so it was awkward for me I felt weird making content about what the current meta is what's going on in the game right now when really I didn't have that much of a outlook or input into it because I couldn't experience it and so for me I just didn't feel like the content I was making at the time was really that quality because I wasn't really able to help anybody at that point in my eyes I was making you no know, fun decks and things like that things that I thought were would be successful, but I mean, obviously, if you look at what was going on at the time, I was pretty much off the mark just because I couldn't play and I didn't really have that kind of aspect. I mean, playing online on, on tap and everything's great, it's good for testing, but it's not the same as going in face to face and playing somebody at a table and things like that. So, from that same point, um, I just, I just felt like it just wasn't really worth making content anymore, but. I've been away from the community. I, you know, I left the Facebook group. I've not even been over on the DBS Dex podcast here until recently. I really just kind of took a vacation, I guess, from the game. But here more recently, I've been getting more involved. I've been here in these last couple weeks over on the podcast like we talked about. And um, I'm kind of getting that, you know, that fire, that passion for the game again. You know, I've missed it. I've missed the community. I miss making content. I miss making videos, doing all that kind of stuff, having discussions in the groups and seeing all the new cards as they came out and all that kind of really cool, fun stuff. So uh, here we are. Now, I don't know that I will get and dive headfirst again into making content, um, you know, because I can't commit to it past the fall. If everything goes back to normal, then there we are. Uh, I just won't have the time again, but I would like to start kind of getting back into it. Um, so I'm kind of reaching out for anyone that happens to see this. What stuff would you be interested in content-wise seeing? Um, I'm still getting acclimated back into the game, learning what's modern, what's current, what's meta, all that kind of stuff, what's good. It's kind of an interesting time frame because there's not really a meta per se, just because there's no tournaments. And that's just not here in the country. That's across the world, really. So I think it's kind of an interesting time to get back into the game and kind of get my feet wet. Um, it's kind of wild that here we're going to have set 10 being released. The games came all the way this far. I remember when people said it wouldn't even make it like a year, make it out of two years, and now we're running on four years. And it doesn't seem like the Steam's really running out anytime soon, which is really nice to see. Um, so I think for here for the immediate future, what I'm going to be focusing on is making decks that go, or making videos that go over decks from the past. We're looking at We'll start with like set one. We'll look at like blue crit Vegeta, mono green, hand destruction Broly, uh, tricolor Ginyu, and just kind of work our way up the sets, kind of catching up. Really well, I'll just kind of get acclimated into what the current game is and everything like that, and then we'll kind of take it from there and see how it goes. 
Um, but anyway, guys, that is it, and we will see y'all next time.